Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising from the 7th to the 13th of September 2020. I hope you're well Sagittarius. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy for the week. What do we have for Sagittarius please? Thank you, two cards. So we have the Queen of Swords and then we have the Five of Coins. So card of Libra with the Five of Coins. Okay. Okay, message for Sagittarius please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for Sagittarius please. For the week. We have number 44. You can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. Okay. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Message for Sagittarius, okay. <laughs> I mean, I love that this is coming, especially with the Five of Coins. If you focus and be in the present, there is success coming your way. It is a lovely, lovely energy. You know, Sagittarius, I'm gonna see if there's any other card. Is there any other message to go with this success, please? Angels, spirits, guides, any other message to go with this success for Sagittarius? <laughs> Abundance. I love how that angel looks like she's leaping for joy. <laughs> um, but you know, these are really good signs here. Okay. So I pull four cards, Sagittarius. The first card is you. Second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card, outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. It won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Message for Sagittarius for the week, please. Oh my goodness. Your ruler, the wheel of fortune, Jupiter straight off the bat <laughs> okay six of swords is your challenge five of wands is advice from spirit and you know this is a really good omen the king of pentacles is at the end of your reading let's clarify the cards on the table please for sagittarius What do we have for Sagittarius, please? We've got the Lovers card of Gemini. <laughs> The Six of Swords, Sagittarius, we have the King. So, interesting I'm saying King. We have, I mean, this is a victory card. The Six of Wands, I mean, these are really good energies in your challenge position. Five of Wands is clarified by the Seven of Wands. And the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hanged Man. I'm going to clarify this Hanged Man. 
can we clarify this hangman, please, for Sagittarius? Thank you. And we might do the King of Pentacles as well in a moment. Let's clarify this hangman, please. Ace of Cups. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles. The Moon. So, Sagittarius, we'll start here. The Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Now, in personal readings, there could have been somebody, male or female, who made you feel lack. Could have been response for uh, some communication, maybe, that um, there could have been some job loss um, or financial loss. Because there can be a feeling with the Five of Pentacles of being outcast. It's a feeling of lack as well. You know, it's the lack mindset as well, the Five of Pentacles. So, there's a message here that what you put out to the universe is what you get back, which is why the hand is, is giving this back to you. Because it is to do with the Law of Attraction. So if you put out positive, practical energy, you know, and try to approach a, a difficult situation in a positive way, no matter how difficult, you will get the reward back sooner or later from the universe. But if you put out lack, if you allow negativity to own you, you will only feel more negativity. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now it's interesting because it is to do with the mindset in some respects, um, the five of coins, it's the lack mindset if you like. Um, and it could be to do with some kind of either financial loss or job loss or, I mean the pentacles can also be to do with our foundational relationships, so committed partnerships, that kind of thing. Um, they're very much associated with money, career, property, foundational relationships, health. But something has made you feel lack, you feel like you've been outcast in some way. And it could have been by a person represented by the Queen of Swords, this is Libra energy. But the message with the energy of the Queen of Swords is also to do with having, she is somebody who has power of the mind. And she allows herself to rise above any confusion and see things crystal clear in understanding how to take decisive action. Make up her mind in which way she's going to go, what decisions she's going to make, what avenue she's going to take. So she's an intuitive queen as well. She does what feels right. She allows her intuition to guide her. She's very connected to who she is and what she is and what she represents. So there's a kind of feeling here on getting perspective or allowing yourself to see the truth of the situation for what it is. But she is somebody who finds balance, inner balance, and allows to herself to regroup and get balance in her external life, even balanced perspectives, in order to move forward in a certain direction, make decisions, choices. So I feel for some of you that whatever this lack has been, and I, it feels, I mean, whatever this five of pentacles represents for you, um, there is a need to get your head around a situation and get a balanced perspective in order to move forward. Now she, all, she looks forward, she doesn't look back. So sometimes the Five of Pentacles can be a card of begrudging, looking at what other people and you don't have, it makes you feel worse as well. It is about focusing on your path when the Queen of Swords appears. Um, you can't go back to yesterday, number 44, be in the present. And that is what she is. She's intuitive, she's connected, she's in her flow, she understands how to use her mind, her, her mental agility, 
her decisiveness, her clarity of thought, you know, all of that kind of thing to move forward and make decisions and choices for the betterment of her. So, yeah, I feel there's a message of focus on moving forward here, Sagittarius. Focus on, focus, focus on your path, don't focus on lack. Allow yourself to see the truth of the situation, but don't keep on looking at what caused this lack. Because when you do, I mean, this is so beautiful. I feel it's to do with money and career. I mean, I could read this in a relationship way as well. Here's Sagittarius. Um, but I'm, I'm really, f I'm feeling slightly more towards money and career. But like I said, the pentacles energy can be all those areas. So sometimes it's the message that's important. Take it as you will. The abundance and success is waiting for you when you allow yourself to move forward, to focus on being in the present and... Uh, getting power of the mind, getting clarity in your own head on the decisions and choices that you need to make now. Having that balanced perspective again. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. I love abundance and success coming out both. Because, you know, that's what the Wheel of Fortune is kind of promising you. You may have had a run of bad luck here, you know, when the, you know, because sometimes the Wheel of Fortune, you know, it turns in your favour, it can also turn against you. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favour now. And I feel for some of you, you might have had a run of bad luck in terms of money, finances, career. But things are beginning to, I think, open up for you. It's an expansive energy of good luck, good fortune, prosperity, success coming your way. Opportunity opening up for you as well. It's all linked to divine timing, things happening when they're meant to happen. So... The lover's energy, I, for me, I mean, this can be in terms of love here, but, you know, I'm feeling more because this is your ruler. This is you reconnecting to who you are. I feel this is you reconnecting to your higher self in some ways, Sagittarius. Reconnect to who you are because it's almost kind of like you need to be back in your element. This is your ruler, Jupiter. Expansion, growth, good success, um... It is also that transmutable energy of allowing endings and new beginnings to happen. So, you know, as one door closes, another one opens with the Wheel of Fortune. Feels like things are beginning to shift for you here, Sagittarius, so reconnect to who you are, and I'm feeling that quite strongly here. Because we have the six of swords and the six of wands here and this is in your challenge position so there has been difficulty in putting something behind you there's been difficulty in moving away from choppy waters and again this is swords energy so there is a need to almost kind of like deal with the mind how you're perceiving something again that queen of swords energy is coming up for me that balanced perspective, you know, because the Six of Swords is about harmony and um, equilibrium, restoring equilibrium in your life, getting balance in all things. And this can be as much in your mind as in your physical reality. Now, the message with the Six of Swords is that there is an, an option now for you to detach from troubles and move to calmer waters. But it is your challenge position because the Six of Wands is there has been maybe the victory is waiting for you here i this is somebody who is in their power who perseveres and they claim the victory as a result of that persevering that determination to succeed the determination to triumph so for some of you i feel that there is an opportunity to put a difficult situation behind you um, and move towards a new vision this can also involve travel relocation moving home um, but I think that this has been difficult to move on from a situation. It might well be down to the fact that coronavirus caused delays. Um, things weren't happening as quickly as you wanted them to and you felt the lack of the situation. But you're being told to regroup to your higher self now, to come back to who you are, be in your element with your ruler, um, the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter, um, above this lover's energy. Because I do feel for some of you, now is the time, there is potential to claim a victory. Even though it is a challenge, there's a necessary need to persevere here. Keep persevering. Because the Seven of Wands suggests, this is the advice from Spirit, it has been a struggle. 
There have been. Um, I mean, this can be also about competition as well. You may have been competing in terms of the job market, and it has been challenging. You may have been competing for um, business. You may have been competing in whatever aspect this represents. Um, this can represent struggle, challenge as well. I can also talk about conflict a bit here. But, you know, Sagittarius, it's one's energy. It's fire energy. The message is, if you persevere, you will overcome this. You will get on higher ground. So, the message is keep going. Persevere. Because you will bring a turning point to your situation here. And that's what Spirit is saying. Reconnect to who you are. Your fire energy. Your fire power. Because the moon energy is a beautiful, powerful energy of sometimes when we feel fear, sometimes when we feel anxiety and it's how our emotions can create this illusion of us feeling in shadow feeling that we can't see a way forward it's in that moment that the universe steps in and is guiding you towards your path is guiding you through your intuition through your instinct through your inner knowing towards how you need to move forward now i did say the queen of swords is an instinctive energy she is she is very connected to who she is. And for that reason, there's a message here. It's time to reconnect to who you are. Listen to your intuition, because I do feel for some of you, that's where you get the clarity and illumination on how you need to move forward. It comes from within. The pages of the beginnings of change, the beginnings of something new. The page of swords can be sometimes... Um, I mean, this might have been some kind of difficult news that you had to deal with with regard to your money and career because again I'm you know I'm seeing this with the king of pentacles here that made you fall into this kind of shadow um, with this moon energy yeah I'm seeing that quite clearly because the king of pentacles is somebody who represents somebody on top of their game financially business business wise very successful material material success he has full knowledge of his own self-worth and practical capabilities to to manifest money to manifest success stability security safety success call it what you will I'm, I'm still feeling this with the, I'm feeling this linked with the Queen of Swords here there may have been some difficult news that you were dealt and it's been a struggle and it's been a struggle to get over it and I'm feeling that throughout this energy here Sagittarius and I feel it was bad news to do with what this King of Pentacles represented because I you know the card of I mean this can be a card of hidden blessings you are being guided through this energy but I, I feel that this is where the fear, the anxiety, the doubt, the shadowy energy came from. But you are being guided in this energy, even though you don't see the big picture the universe does. I'm, I'm feeling this is still linked to some kind of difficult news that came and brought change to your financial circumstances. But things are about to change with the Wheel of Fortune in your present. But what has been difficult to move on from is this energy, this feeling of lack, the fear, the doubt, all of this kind of thing. And that's why the energy of the Queen of Swords is so important because she represents that balanced perspective. She'll take advice from other people but ultimately she will make the decision choices, see the way that she wants to go. Um, but I do feel for some of you there was difficult news associated with this as well. This can be about direct communication associated with something that brought you lack. But it is going to change. Because the hanged man is that point of change. The hanged man is saying, well, things are changing. 
there are endings and beginnings opening up for you now. There is opportunity opening up for you. Expansion and growth is beginning to open up for you. Divine timing is saying now is the time. Now is the time that things are going to shift and change in your favour. And the Wheel of Fortune is very good in terms of money, opportunity, career aspects. So what does the hangman do? Well, the hangman says that when you've been in period of, of limbo, when you felt trapped in this, this feeling of lack, this is the illumination of you need to look at something a different way. You need to open your mind up to all possibilities. Because it is in that moment, it's almost like out of the old way of looking at something, the old way of dealing with something, in with a new and that's what the hanged man does. He puts himself on purpose upside down from the tree of knowledge to gain wisdom, to gain insight, to find answers on how he needs to move forward. Where is he going? How does he align to move forward in his life from feeling stuck? And we know that that has been your challenge position to move forward from being stuck. This is Aquarian energy. It's a visionary energy. So he, in that moment, he is given illumination from the universe. You are being guided. Even in difficult times, you are being guided. You are being given answers, illumination on how you need to move forward. And I do feel for some of you, because it's deeply intuitive energy as well, the Ace of Cups is that opportunity. The Ace of Cups is that way forward. Um, this is the card of emotional rebirth, allowing your emotions your inner world to move on to be renewed this is where you're being shown love and light from the universe as well in this moment with the hanged man you know hanged man can be when we've been through illness that might have affected our career um or, or money aspects it can be to do with job loss it can be to do with relationship changes you know ha problems with houses you know all of this kind of thing when you something that makes you feel like you're in a period of limbo it could have been to do with the the pandemic the opportunity is coming, the opportunity and it's bringing something that you really want, something that is bringing you joy, happiness in this moment. I mean, this can represent self-love, new love, um, opportunity that brings joy here, Sagittarius, but it's an intuitive energy of spiritual awakenings and new beginnings. So I feel this is the illumination. You're being told to go down this route. I feel for some of you, there may well be light bulb moments, moments of real clarity, of inspiration this week. That is telling you, this is how I need to release from where I've been. This is what the universe is wanting me to move towards now. This is that new door that is opening up for me in terms of the Wheel of Fortune. It's a beautiful energy and you know what it's bringing in and it's saying this very clearly is linked with abundance and success. So it's something that brings you joy, something that you really want, something that is very much in line with your truth, you know. You know the cups energy is alignment energy, it's, a, it's very much to do with who we are, it's intuitive energy. Um, open to receive it that's the message here open to receive it because the cup of joy is offered to you and I feel for some of you that there are happier times to come there's almost kind of like certainly with this feeling of this lack mindset you need to look at something in a different way and I feel when you do that's when things just start to shift here Sagittarius uh, for the better I really do because it's a lovely lovely energy of the time is now things are shifting good fortune good luck is around you the expansive energy of Jupiter the feel-good energy of Jupiter is around you your ruler so this is learn from the experiences that you've had but don't be held hostage by them allow endings and beginnings um, I'm gonna pull one more card See if there's any other advice from Spirit. Any other advice for Sagittarius, please? Any other advice for Sagittarius? It's a beautiful new beginning here. And that literally ties in with what the Wheel of Fortune is trying to bring into you. Yeah. <laughs> Positive change. 
And this is Sagittarian energy. It's interesting. This is Mercury in Sagittarius, the magician energy. So when you take action, Sagittarius, in a positive, you know, this is a real positive action energy, swift change is open to you. This can be in the form of events changing, out of the blue opportunities, um, a conversation leading to something solid, stable, secure. Um, yeah, it is. The mercurial energy of there could be some communication, conversation, positive opportunities coming your way that are incoming. can be linked with travel, but it's a big energy of, of positive shifts open to you now. So I love this energy. It's a lovely, lovely, positive, positive energy to have. And it's fire energy as well. And it's interesting. I've got five, six, seven, eight in terms of the ones. So I feel that if you persevere, this shift is coming your way. Each of those ones promises growth, something exciting, electric, and very much in line with your element. I really like this. I get this card a lot when Jupiter appears. So we have inner child. The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. Yeah, it's very beautiful. I'm going to pull one more, Sagittarius. Okay. We have life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings you lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Wow. In the shadows, the moon energy. It's a lovely energy, Sagittarius. I do feel for some of you there is positive change. I think there is some enlightenment on how you need to move forward. I do feel for some of you opportunity is coming into you cup of joy is offered to you but it comes after a period of waiting um, and it's the waiting hasn't been in vain you know because this is where the waiting has illuminated maybe unconsidered options and it is those new ideas the new ways of looking at something that is really allowing you to move forward to the ace of cups the cup of joy exciting energy okay I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Sagittarius, and I will see you next time. Thank you.